Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best front living room fifth wheels in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Alliance Paradigm Model 385 FL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Paradigm and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you guys the all new Paradigm. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're here still at uh, RV1 at Tampa. Yes. It's a beautiful day here. This is a beautiful dealership. Yes. Um, I love this store because they represent Alliance, which you guys know is one of my favorite brands. Yep. And we're gonna be uh, having Alliance at the Tampa Super Show. So if you like this, prices. yeah. So if you like this fifth wheel, yes. make sure you stop by our tent, Matt's RV That's reviews, right. And we're gonna help you get a phenomenal price. Absolutely. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is Alliance Paradigm 385 FL. The actual tip tip length of this fifth wheel is 41 feet 4 inches. The dry weight is 14,375 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 2,875 pounds. I love it. Oh, uh, right up here, Will. Painted fiberglass front cap. Yes. Check out that front cap. That was what the 2021s looked like. This is what the 2022s looks like. They look absolutely fantastic. Right here, this one has a Roto Flex Trail Air pin box. The newer, newer ones have the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. This one just got this last one. Kurt is owned by Lippert, so it's all the same pin box, which is awesome. Coming on down the side here, it is prepped for a generator. It already Very has the nice. cutouts. Right there is the hydraulic reservoir because this does have six point hydraulic auto leveling. Cool. Coming on down the side here, we do got a propane tank there. Okay. Very nice. Uh oh. The lipper component, Invisihold, um, slam latch doors. Okay. Very nice. 101 wide inch body. There was power there. And then, well, underneath there, it is a propane quick connect. Cool. Coming around this side, you can see it's a little cluttered, okay? Yes. Um, lots of slide outs on this side. Right. This really kind of sucks for your patio area while you're camping. But trust me, it's going to make it up on the inside. That's right. Coming on down the side here. A little bit of power, okay? Right here, we do have these nice solid steps. Hydraulic assisted well, okay. very, very nice. Makes it easy to get in and out of the fifth wheel. And uh, it's just so much better that way with a nice big grab handle. Okay. Because this is an alliance, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. And if you're interested in knowing what more that is, just go to asdaleonboard.com. That's right. Also, Alliance won't penalize you for being full-time. They are warranty for full-time RV living. I love that. Yep. And then look at these tires, Will. They're Sterlings. I love those. ST235-85R16. Very nice. And then Will, yeah. tell us a little bit about the performance of these tires and oh, axles. Yes, yes. I, um, I love the running gear Alliance does. Um, they use uh, better tires than most of the competition. Super G-rated 4,400 pound. They use heavy duty uh, Dexter 4K springs. Okay. 7,000 pound of axles. And of course the, CR, uh, the Moride CRE 3,000 to make for a better ride. And two inch torsion tube welding I-beams. Unbeatable strength. That's right. And ri say that word, ri rigidity, rigidity. Rig yeah, that's a weird Rigidity? Word. Rigidity, that's it. Dang right, man. <laughs> I got my SAT word done for the day. <laughs> Coming on down the side here. Well, underneath, we do have storage for your stinky slinky. Okay. Check this out. This is what I love. Yes. This is what I love, Will. Because there's not a lot of front storage, but this makes up for it. Right. Yeah, no, not a lot of front storage at all, but this is where it all makes up. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Look at this storage, Will. That's amazing. Freaking awesome. This is a full-time beast. Yeah. As you guys know, our friend Dave Cantrell owns one of these. And is he full-time or... No, he was selling his house, right? I think he's full-time. Yeah. And he's an RV inspector. I mean, if right. that doesn't tell you something. Right. Very nice. Uh, nice storage in here. Uh, right here, we do have the hitch. 
3,000 pound hitch, you can technically tow behind it. But technically, Will, we don't recommend that anybody should do that. Right. Um, that's just stupid, to be honest with you. And it is prepped for a backup camera. Also, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece PVC roof, Will. Oh man. That's a high step. That's a big step. I think I can do it. All right. Let's go up there and take a look. Oh. oh no. Did you do your stretch? Strike one. There you go. There we go now. Get that foot under you, fat boy. <laughs> up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece PVC roof. Not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. I love that. Max Air fan right there. Wine Guard digital antenna right here, the 360. And then right up there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. This is a tall ladder. There we go. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Will. I just want to show this. You know why? So I'm so dang on impressed by it. Yeah, it's tons of storage. So nice, man. So nice. Right there. That's where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. Auto leveling. 50 amp service plug right here. Very nice. Coming on down the side here. Water heater. Look at this. Very nice. City water connection, power tank. Uh, power fill tank, I mean. Outdoor shower, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Very nice. Right here. So everybody sees the other side of propane. Oh, there you go. There you go, Dad. And then right here is auto leveling control. That's right. Well, well, the outside of the fifth wheel looks great, but the inside does look even better. Dang on it. Well, let's go take a look. All right. Oh, they just saw me skipping. <laughs> It's embarrassing if they don't know the program. Right. Play left first, bro. Oh, left first. You need to switch it up. Okay. All the way in the back, we've got the bathroom back here. And then the bedroom. Coming down the middle, we've got the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then all the way in the front is this nice living area the kensington collection will that's right and uh before we start with the inside will let's take a quick moment thank the sponsor lipper for this episode matt's rv reviews is proudly sponsored by lipper did you guys know lipper does so much more than axles and chassis they actually make a whole bunch of rv lifestyle aftermarket products i have three chairs that i want to show you guys today the first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair this chair you can lean all the way back you can relax it you can you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. All right, well, in this living room, talk about nice. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Double sofas on here. They both come out to make a bed. Let me demonstrate what one looks like. Okay. Over here, we do this. Look at all the windows first. I we know. Three, six, seven, eight windows. So light and bright in here. We went out and bought a new jump box because the uh, tamp store is great at many things. They're not good at keeping jump boxes charged. Yeah. <laughs> and and we went out and bought a jump box, but we didn't even need a jump box for this unit. All right, no kidding. It's so bright. Okay, this how it looks. Notice how it's light. We adjust the lights up for right, it. Right, of just course. Just so everybody knows. Yep. But very nice. We'll show everybody the storage here. Okay, plenty of storage around this entertainment center. Got some storage there, all soft clothes. You got the lights, storage here as well. And there, again, that nice big TV. Smart TV at that. Yes. The YouTube, Netflix, Hulu. 
I'm not sure about you guys. I would actually love to know. Leave a comment down below. One, do you guys watch this on TV? Do you watch this on phone? Or do you watch this on... um Tablet or computer. Or computer. Yep. But... Leave down in the comments below. One. Two. Also let me know. Do you guys even have cable anymore? Right. Or are you like me and Will... We don't have cable. No, we just got Netflix and Hulu and crap. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nice. So please, guys, leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear. Uh, nice big TV set up right over here. Storage and everything. Yes. And then uh, I hate dislike number one. Oh, I'm going there early. I don't like to pull out fireplace. Will tends to disagree with me. So, Will, please show off the pull out fireplace. Okay. See, that time it looked kind of easy. Yeah, they changed it, though. Oh, did they change it? So you don't have to do the thing at the bottom? So it doesn't lock? Let me see. No, it locks here at the top. So you just put the little band around it. You sure? Yeah. Alrighty, I still don't like it, but that is a hundred times better. Yep. Got some storage right here. <laughs> yes, sir. And then storage right there. Okay. Coming on down the side here, we do want to make mention, well, first... Will is six foot three. Yes. For Look a, at this head space. Living, this yeah. is great. Normally my like the top of my hair is like barely rubbing. Yeah. So this is great for a front living. Yep. And Will's hair is looking a little rough, y'all. It is. So in about three, four episodes, I'm taking him to see my boy Kendrick's tomorrow. That's right. He's gonna give him a, a nice, <laughs> a nice clean look. Yes. Will tell us a little bit about this air conditioning unit. Yeah, so they don't duck their AC units with Alliance. Um, they have found, and we did fact check it at, um, Lipper. Li uh, yeah, Lipper. Or um, Furion. Furion is yeah, what I was trying thing. to say. Um, that it is better not to be ducted. Now, I think the back one is ducted for the, uh, bathroom and all of that. Yeah. But they are still whisper quiet, and they work really, really w well. Um, not only are they efficient, but they are very quiet. People think that because it's not ducted or hidden that it's not a whisper quiet, but it is. Right. And so, in this big conglomerate area, it yes. is not ducted through. That's right. Perfect, Will, coming on down. Okay. Notice these steps, notice yes. the slide outs. There is no carpet on the slide outs. That is something that we seriously love. Yes. The uh, table and chairs, oh man, I'm not gonna lie. Is it a little tight? Oh man. That's Jesus. pretty tight actually, huh? It's real tight, bro. That ain't fat boy tested or approved. It's cause it's the Brady's, brother. I know, they're all no, skinny. No, you know what it is? It's the chair. Is it? The curvature in the chair. Like kind of push you forward a little bit? Yeah, like like a nice arched back, which they shouldn't have done. Right. Mm. It's kind of a big deal. Are both sides even? They look like it. I think so. Yeah. That side might have a little bit more room. Give that a try. A little bit Definitely better, but still better. not. But again, like you would have to, you, you, you have to switch out the chairs. See, here's what's going on, America. The chair's stopping right here. And that's uh, like, so if it was a straight chair, you'd be able to pull it back more. I see. It's okay, Will. Hey, I'm kind of glad. I because know, because it's hard to find dislikes. It's always hard to find dislikes in these. I do love the big windows. Okay. And the MCD blinds right there. The atrium windows with the nice LED lights. And also new is that they're putting the alliance right there. And uh, this is always where like a manual override is yes. as well. Here, you got um, a nice little like coffee bar area. Um, maybe you could do some small tacos there. Uh, plenty of storage here, like pantry space. Also on surface countertops, which is nice. You got power right there. Uh, so all soft closed drawers. Yep. All yep. their drawers are reinforced underneath to make sure they don't fall through. Yes. Plenty of storage there. Then right behind me, you got some storage here. Yes, sir. And here and there. All around this nice uh, microwave. convenience my cooking. So it's not convection, I guess, just a regular microwave. It's not convection, it's convenience. Yeah, threw me for a sec. Nice window right here. Good counter space on both Good sides. Good counter space, on the, yeah. Of the oven, which is a nice, or range, which is a nice four burner insignia cooktop with uh, the oven. Plenty of storage here and here. And I forgot this side earlier. Right there, same thing. Oh right man, well, I got distracted. Open that oven again. I know. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. There you go. Whoops. All right, a little bit of storage up top right there. Yes, sir. Nice big Samsung refrigerator. Look at that. And freezer, full all residential. Full-time beast. That's right. 
And then, um, nice pantry space right yeah. here. Yeah. Plenty of pantry space. And then you your auto, uh, your gen start right there. It's not auto gen start. No. But just, you know, you can start it right there. Uh, again, solid surface countertops, spray faucet right there. Nice big single bowl sink. Um, all of the plumbing fixtures, so like this faucet, this particular faucet leak, there is a shutoff valve for that. Oh, nice. Which I don't know if any other manufacturer is doing that. A couple drawers here, they can be removed for a dishwasher. It is prepped for a dishwasher. Nice. And a little bit of storage underneath here. I love that. Is it lit oh. up under there? It is lit up under nice. there. Nice, I like and that too. And here's that shutoff you can see right there. Ah, oh, very nice. And then, whoa, is that a half bath? Sure was that there last time? It I was. think it was. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They listened to us. They didn't put it on the other side because I would have been mad. Do you remember oh, okay. that? No, I don't remember that. Oh. What did we tell them? Well, because it's like you don't want the toilet like right in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Truth. A little bit of storage there. Sink with the epoxy countertops. Mirror action. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Now, it's a half bath, so I wouldn't be surprised if it failed. I mean, it's cut it close. Cutting it close, but is it passing for a half bath or no? You can't give it. Close the door. Okay. I mean, well, it's so close. I don't know whether to pass it or fail it. Well, it's a half bath. So, because it's a half bath, this is a prime poop position. Bing! But, Jen, make it a small one. I mean, it's not a pass. It's not a fail. Full bath, it fails. Yeah. Half bath, it pass, as Will's trying to say. Okay. And, uh... Coming on up here, look at this. I love the buttons. They're not trying to get fancy with us. Right. Okay, they did change that bathroom. They did. Yep. Right over here, well, we got a nice king size bed. Serta king size bed, three windows all the way around. So nice. That's the Kit Kat bar, Will. Yeah. Even though it's six. Storage underneath the bed. Very nice, very comfortable bedroom. Look at that nice door. And then what oh, do we got yeah. going on up there? Nice barn door. I think this is for a CPAP, isn't it? Sure, I, I think so, yeah, because they got power and everything yeah, in there. Yeah, man, and then look how much head height Will has right, in the bedroom. Right, still back here, it's really good. I love that, nice, oh, oh, oh sorry, people. throwing everybody off. Nice MCD windows right here, a little place. Those fat people can tie our shoes at, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we do got storage right there, TV, everything. Oops. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Supposed to be soft close. We'll make a phone call. Discount. <laughs> Very nice. They'll be soft close by the time it's done. Yeah. I wonder what makes it soft close. Is it off a track or something? Um, something in the track, like. Mm. Probably just missing like a spacer or something. Probably. Finishing up. Oh, this is what they switched up. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here, prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Okay. That's amazing. This is amazing. Yes, plenty of storage. That uh -oh. one's missing it too. All right, very nice. Right over here, we do have the nice shower action we can show you in a moment. Okay. Uh, we'll go stay in that shower action. Okay, is it an encore? It looks like it, but it might not be. Right. This is different. But you know, guys, Alliance is, Alliance always does really good with their showers. This is great width, great depth, great, great height, honestly. This is awesome. Yep. So this definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. That's right. Nice medicine cabinet right here. Epoxy countertops. Lots of countertop space yeah. for the bathroom. Storage action. Okay. Let's hit this light, too. Porcelain. Yep. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. Cool. I'm almost disappointed though, but am I disappointed? Right, because this bathroom last year, was you said was the best that I've ever been. You've ever been in. And they took that it, away. But was it overkill? But was it overkill, right? And now be, you, you have this in here. Well, this was there, but the difference is you get a actual counter space in the bathroom. Um, right. Where before, you know, I hate it when you don't have counter space, honestly, in the bathroom. You can't even set a toothbrush down or something. Right, and it's one of those things like, yeah, that toilet might have been better, but this one isn't bad. It's just kind of weird. I'm just trying to think back to the last one. Like, it's still, if this was the first time, 
who definitely passed flying colors. But since I knew what it was last year, that's where my little dog did I give off it a, a little bit. Did I give it a prime poop? You did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is, and we will let you guys know in just a few moments. But first, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Okay. And I'm kind of excited because, like, alliances are always so hard for us to find dislikes. Yes. And I really do like that there's things that I don't like about it. Right. Makes it easy. Yes. Number one, Will... Fat boy tested, fat boy denied. That's right. I'm not even going to say it's this. I'm going to give it to the chair as well. This three inches makes all the difference in the world. You can't have these fancy chairs, Brady's. You got to get flat chairs. You right. know what I'm saying? Flat chairs for our arched tummies. Right. <laughs> That's number one. Well, I got number two. Okay. Even though, even though, I am going to give him props about the fireplace. They, how they changed the mechanism so it's an easier slide out. I still don't think that the slide out is worth a blanket being there, but will. Yeah. I got a combo. Okay. I know what you're going to say. Got to combo it with the fact that the TV doesn't drop down. Right. I wish there was a nice big windshield there. I agree. That's number two. Okay. And then, will number three? So it's hard. Those are the two obvious ones, I think. Yes. The next, the last one, it's kind of hard to say because any floor plan is like this. But I don't like the outside space. Yeah. You know, you get three big slides on the outside. It, it makes it away. hard to use your, your camping area. Mm -hmm. Again, if this is a floor plan you want, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Alliance, Keystone, anybody, it's going to be this way. Um, but I, personally, I like being outside. I like yep. cooking outside. And, and, you know, for me, I wouldn't like that as much. 100% concur. Okay. Well, Will, that was three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this unit. Okay. Go first. I'm gonna go with the ceiling height in here. Yes. Again, front livings, a lot of times I don't, I, I actually love the idea of a front living, but when I get in there, I'm like, this ceiling's too tall, ceiling in the back is too tall. I don't feel claustrophobic in here. I don't feel like the ceilings are tall. I feel like it's nice and wide and open and tall and plenty of windows. I love that. I love it, so. That's number one. Okay. Well, number two. Number two. Do you have a strong number two? Because I got my number threes on the outside. No, go ahead. Okay, number two, Will, I, I'm i going to say the kitchen counter space. Yes. They actually did a really good job right there. They with, did. Um, I, I like that a little bit. I like this. I love the look and the feel. And Every I, bit is usable. That's what I love. Exactly. I really love this kitchen. I love the soft closed drawers, the reinforced drawers. And as well reminded me, the fact that the bathroom's on this side, so it's not next to the refrigerator or next to the oven while you're cooking. Right. It's a very nice feature. Sure is. That's number two, Will. And then number three, we can go right here. This exterior storage yeah, this is, is freaking obvious. awesome. Yep. You do not get better exterior storage than this. I love that slide out tray and everything, and it is great. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. $117,909 will MSRP. But as we told everybody, we are representing Alliance at the Tampa RV show this That's year. That's right. So we know we'll be able to get you everybody a better price. Make sure to uh, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Again, I've said this before, but Alliance out of any manufacturer watches our videos and listens to uh, your comments and any feedback you provide them yes. to make a better unit. Um, make sure to also smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.